What's up guys, Chris here back with episode 2 of Under 50 Tech and today I have a, an action camera and this action camera I actually got on Amazon UK website and I'll leave a link to this and as well as the US website um, in the description box below. This is the uh, Ape Man action camera A66. This film's only in 1080p um, so there's no, no 4K on this one. You know, here's the box. It's pretty basic. It just says A66 action cam on this side. Ape Man on, on this side, just made in China down here. And on this side it has right here the address. Uh, if you have any issues with it, I guess you can return it there, but it's in China. Shenzhen, China. Returning it there is kind of going to be a shot in the dark, I suppose. So let's get into this box. Now, why would I buy this camera? Well, first of all, it's 29 pounds or 29.95 pounds. That's like 40 bucks US. And I would get this camera if I had an, a GoPro right now. And the reason I would get it a GoPro, I mean, always nice to have a backup camera. If you're out and about and you're doing stuff and you really just, just don't want to miss a shop, you never know when, when your camera's just gonna go bleh. You know what I mean? So having this camera for this price is not bad. And then if you look in here, you've got all these accessories that I'm about to show you. Now, you don't get nothing with it, a GoPro and you're paying 400 bucks for it and it comes with like two little mounts and that's it. It comes with an, an, an nothing. So, I mean, now there are all kinds, all, and I will do a lot of these, but there are a lot of um, little like packages you can get that have all kinds of GoPro mounts and things of that nature. So, but a lot of these like smaller companies, when they ship these cameras, and the cameras are junk, I, I don't know if this camera, I've watched some videos, some, some test videos with it, it's not terrible, but compared to a GoPro, compared to the Sony Action Cam, they're not that great. Uh, this is gonna do a 1080p at 30, it's not, not gonna do, but you're paying for what you get. This is $30. I would personally rather spend, buy 10 of these things and always have one available to me than probably a, one single GoPro that's gonna be $300 anyway. So, so you get another door, you get some like straps to be able to strap it to pretty much anything you want to strap it to. A little mount that does the, that kind of turns the camera because some of these, like this for instance, to be able to connect it to the handlebars. Uh, a couple of sticker mounts so you can stick it on your bike helmets or you know wherever else you want to stick it to. Here's the battery. Battery is a lithium ion battery that's 1050 milliamp hours. It's got this little pull tab here so you can get it in and out of the camera. You got a little clip, and here's the one I'm kind of most in interested in. This is just your little, your, your, your basic uh, clip, pop the camera in here and go vlogging with it. So my other channel, CJ Abroad, is my vlogging channel. And uh, I'll leave a link to that so you guys can go check it out. But I am going to do a um, full-on vlog test with this camera, let me figure out how to open it. I'm gonna do a full on vlog test with this camera and it's gonna be on the CJ Abroad website or CJ Abroad page, so you guys can check that out. Uh, it may come out probably before before this uh, video actually goes live, so I'll, be able to, I'll leave a link right here or, or here, whichever side it shows up on. Um, so here's just another clip-in mount uh, to kind of change your direction. So when you have this, this mount right here, this is your bicycle mount and you wanna change Pop it in there like that, and then you can change the direction of which way the camera mounts. Um, we got this one here, it was just a screw on one. Get your micro USB cable, uh, another door um, uh, locking mechanism, and then another little thing. You got a microfiber cleaning cloth, cloth, not the best quality in the world, not really even microfiber. Uh, a couple more 3M sticks here, then you got some zip ties. You can zip tie the thing to anything and then your user manual. So, let's get in here and see if there's any juice in this camera, in this battery. The battery door just kind of pops off here. And here. It's all plastic. It's not like the greatest quality in the world. Let's see if there is some juice in there. So we got a little blue light. All right. So we'll do a little bit of test video with this. And then, uh, so I'll do a little test video and I'll end this video with uh, some of the tests. And then, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do a test vlog with it so you guys can check that out at CJ Abroad. And uh, so anyways, like get back to uh, why I would buy this. I mean, you get all these accessories and most GoPro accessories, if you get a GoPro accessory and it says GoPro and it's made by GoPro on there, you're probably gonna be paying at least 25 to 30 bucks for it. Probably in most cases, a lot more than that. For this price, you get a camera too and all these accessories. So that's one of the reasons why I would think that it's actually a good idea to buy a camera like this, and, you know, just for the actual accessories that, that it comes with. So I think it's almost worth it just to have, you know. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a video test with this to end this video and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.